like any other woman you would want to be in a relationship and you know you would want what every woman would want to have. one relationship the name is uh, withheld. withheld but uh, this guy when he found out about my status he did not confront me he just called me and uh, he just you know started out of the blue starting up arguments and I did not know where they were coming from but then I remember it was my ex my ex was his friend and he he told him about my status. He was like, but that girl you're dating, I hope she has told you everything about her life. And he had to be very inquisitive and he asked me, because I had that stigma then, I told him they are lying. So the other one went into detail and told him stuff and I don't know what proof he gave him for this one to come back with a lot of fury. And then he started calling me Madara, uh, devil, what you know and he even promised to tell every guy that i was going to date about my status and all that yeah so it was well it was i mean the fact that i was still with that stigma it was kind of very threatening someone sent me a message on facebook oh i love you i love you. oh thank you then I was like by the way i'm just helping you <laughs> That's when I was like, no way, you're not helping me. No. <laughs> I can get yeah. any particular person as long as this is the type of man that I would want to be with. Mm. And I don't think that I am limited. So you're not helping me in any way. And that is the problem with some of these men who are vibing the girls. The others think that we pick up stories of our boyfriends, but they are there. It's just that they are not they are not really willing to, you know, come out and being on media and be stuff. on media and stuff. Because I also had a problem with my current boyfriend where his friends found out about his him dating me and they had seen me on TV. Yeah, friends used to tell him that, hey you you know you've dated a time bomb. What is this that you're doing to yourself? You're already like, you know, you're throwing yourself in a pit you're, you're, you're going to die soon you're even like you're the dead end generally and he was really so like traumatized and he was so he came to me he wanted to ask whether it is still okay and well I, I had to really do everything because it was hard I could not tell him that ah it will go away let us just relax but I told him these words are going to be coming in but if you feel you cannot stand it then one thing I should just tell the people out there is that being with HIV does not limit you to do things that you want to do especially when it comes to relationships you can date a person you want to date provided like I said you have a common understanding and you have shared interests a must to get into a relationship with someone positive mm -hmm. you're free and what I learned is that there are men willing to love regardless, uh, regardless of your status yeah. It's just that women love limiting themselves that, uh, you know, I'm this, I'm this, so they judge themselves before even the person approaches them.